Gonna show you how to remove your free hub body off of your through axle. Right now it's pushed on there, uh, basically with friction, so it's gotta be nothing on this side. It's just gonna slide open. There's nothing we have to remove here. If you look, do look inside and you do see a C-clip in there, it's probably sitting right on top of a sealed cartridge bearing. Here's your C-clip right here. There's the end right there, and there's a space, and then there's an other end right here. But this sharp end right here, where there's a little bit of missing material, that's where you're gonna put your tool to get underneath it and to remove that C-clip. So that C-clip is only to remove the sealed cartridge bearing out of your free hub body. Um, something you may or may not have to do. Uh, most people may just buy a whole new uh, cartridge body. Um, so it is rebuildable if you have to. Um, I like to use the 12 millimeter uh, Allen tool or hex tool. It's gonna fit right inside here. I had to special order this guy. I'm gonna use this curved end here, put it right inside there. So the cool thing about it, this tool only goes so far. So far it actually makes contact with the inside of the through axle. So I'm gonna hold it just like that. You're gonna grab your free hub body, put a glove on, get a rag if you need to, and just basically I'm gonna hold the tool as well just so the tool doesn't fall out like that. Put it like that. Hang onto the free hub body fairly tight, and then it's gonna pound the table. Um, put some down on the table if you're afraid of hurting your table. For reassembly, uh, this can really only go on one way. I suppose you could put this on backwards. This side, the left side, uh, which is the non-drive side, has threads. And we want to, this is going to be our drive side. This is where the free hub body is going to slide right onto. Paul's here. These little guys, this is going on first. It's going to go on all the way and it's going to have a little lip right here. A piece of metal that this is going to hit and can only go on so far. So you're going to uh, gently pound it on until it stops. And before that, we're going to apply just a little bit of lube here. Um, as you saw, it was pretty tight. So probably uh, maybe some grease, probably of any type, even a, a triflow oil, something like that. In this case, I'm going to grab what's convenient. This is just a little bit of part tool poly lube. And don't need much, just a thin film. We don't need a lot of excess. We don't need a lot of grease hanging around. That's going to collect a lot more dust. Pretty thin coat. You can't even see it. It's so thin. And it's going to go so far. We still have another roughly about an inch or so. Um, you could try just gently pressing it down, put some pressure on it. And so it clicked on a little bit more. We still have another little ways to go. So remember, this is a pretty soft aluminum. You don't want to bang it around. You don't want to stick it in a vise and crush it. Um, something like that. Probably don't use your hand unless you got some, you know, big wooden hands. But uh, that's all the way in. It, it bottomed out right there. It's not going on any further. Again, you can give it a spin, testing out the bearings inside there. 